Good evening. Uh, thank you for this opportunity, Mr. Minister. My name is Steve Kane. I'm the president of Warner Music Canada. I've spent the most of my adult life working, um, working in the music business and having the honor and the privilege of assisting artists do what they do, and that is um, take their creations and spread them not only across Canada but around the world. It's a, a privilege and an honor that I take and my staff takes very seriously and that we are proud to say that we are part of building artists' careers. When I began my tenure as president of Warner Music Canada, we had about 180 employees. We currently have 85. I've had to lay off people. I've had to um, cut back on marketing and spending on artists in mid-career. I've had to pass on artists because I have limited budgets and limited resources as uh, the first gentleman who spoke said, many of these artists have gone elsewhere. We are not creating a level playing field for creators. I've come to many town halls and, uh, and spoken to many uh, politicians and, and bureaucrats about what it is we're looking for. What we're looking for is the ability to make choice. Many artists choose not to monetize their creations. Many artists don't avail themselves of services like companies that I work for. The ones who do deserve to have that choice respected. If one artist decides that they can be a hobbyist and make, uh, make music in their basement, post it up online, or even with a recording contract and an agreement with their, their record label that they decide they're going to give away their music, that's, that's fantastic, that's their choice. What I'm asking for is the same respect being given to the artists that I work with who, who want to be paid, who want to make a living, who want to be contributors, taxpayers, and uh, a, a valuable member of our society. I don't view this entire, uh, this entire discussion about a 99 cent song, about a single song. I also look at it as the future of the Canadian economy. Um, the kind of country I want my kids to grow up in, the kind of opportunities they have. I grew up in an industrial manufacturing town. I've watched those jobs disappear. They're not coming back. Don't let the same happen to my industry. Thank you for listening.